Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, drop us a link in the comment section below, and we'll actually do it for you guys. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse to when all you guys can hear they enjoy the content that we post weekly and don't forget to subscribe. We've got a podcast where we've got some amazing conversations and you guys can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel and our second YouTube channel for the visuals. We've got a Patreon account called Funny and Jesse and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very, very appreciative. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for sticking around. We appreciate each one of you out there. I hope you guys are doing all right. And I wish you a great week ahead. And may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to what was Allah God doing before creation. We answered. I think I asked questions after i did the other two previous videos with similar uh title and you guys gave me another video to react to so that's what we're doing today excited to listen to this video so without wasting time let's get into the video to reach out to more people please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment below what was allah doing before he created us right you are probably questioned this before i have I did my research and found the answer. Let's start then. What was Allah doing before He created us and the universe? The root of this problem is the wrong understanding of the words pre-eternity and time. Since humans live in a specific time and place, we make a mistake by considering every action according to a time concept and even thinking about the eternity in a time concept. The question is the result of this mistake. Time is the unique concept which started with the creation of creatures that includes the chain of events. All living creatures move and live according to that time concept. Creation of the living beings, their changes, their aging, and their death all happen in that time concept. It's a relative concept that consists of the past, now, and the future. The moment we live in was the future just a moment ago, but it will be called the past in just a moment. These and everything similar to this is relative to the living beings. So, century, year, day, today, tomorrow is only an issue for the creation. When it comes to pre-eternity, eternity is not an infinity in a timeline. In pre-eternity, there is no past, now, the future, creation, and place. Minds aren't able to imagine a timeline for the pre-eternity. Time can be split into units like century, year, month, day, second, moment, but pre-eternity can't. A starting point cannot be imagined for a pre-eternity. Pre-eternity is all about the eternal existence being only limited to the Allah who is timeless. There is one point we miss. Time is an attendant servant of Allah just like the sun. Its duty is to wear out the matter. Since if a creator is dependent to its creation, it can't be the creator. Allah is timeless. He is out of the timeline. There is no time for him. Since we can't put him in a timeline, it doesn't make any sense to say before Allah or after Allah. Also, time is a perception. Einstein, the greatest scientist of the 20th century, has said in his theory of relativity that time is just a perception. Since time is just a perception, it is totally about the person perceiving. Just like how the sun is a creation, created for us to be enlightened and warm, time is just a creation, created to wear us out and let the universe collapse when it's the time. Allah the Almighty is not dependent on the time just like any of his creation. So that's why questions like what is Allah doing now, what was he doing before he created the universe doesn't make any sense. Allah is timeless, he created the time, he is not dependent on the time. I really love this and how 
simple he made it all seem really love this and a big shout out to the person that suggested suggested this i did ask in my previous video but then i forgot so i'm going to ask in this video away from the video well we're not talking about what i'm from reacting to we're not talking about just something else god created us that's in this um the devil or shaitan or whatever you want to call him where did he come from because those who People in the comments that were going back and forth concerning this and I'm just curious to know where did the devil come from? If you've got an answer, feel free to give us a video or type type the answer out. We'll be glad to get your response. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.